random Joe Schmo on TikTok giving mental health diagnostic. I was like, oh, I didn't know everyone is a psychotherapist and psychiatrist. Last time I checked, you need 10 years of schooling. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you just inherently know. What a joke, right? When you give out this misdeeds of diagnosis, you're really harming a lot of people. It's horrible. Yeah, I agree. That was, yeah, all of that's so on point. You know, we have, just like you said, we have storytellers around us all the time. You know, you have people who go to like Taekwondo and boxing and, and there's this idea of like physically being able to defend yourself. But what about being able to defend your own mind, right? How many people do examine the storytellers around them to just ask the simple question, why would they tell me that? Do they have a reason to be telling me that? Is there a reason for them to tell me that specific story in that way? Just to sort of even just ask yourself that question instead of just taking the story at face value. And I used to always take stories at face value. You know, if you came up to me and you were fairly convincing and whatever you told me, I was probably going to believe you. That was another handicap that I incurred from my grooming, you know. But aside from that, I think it's so important to even just start asking yourself that question. I mean, marketing techniques, things like that, on whatever level, what subtle message could be there? And it's not to go through life like paranoid. I kind of enjoy doing this. You know, it's a fun mental exercise for me to just ask the question, why? I have a, quite a few mentees, given the chapters of life I'm in. And I often tell them, especially with this rise of everyone is an expert. Here's my advice, like Oprah culture. Do not trust the advice, but trust the person. Because if you trust the source of the information, then I think you can, through proxy of that, be more trusting of their advices that's given. Because as you said, too many people are way too gullible or they just don't have enough resources or educations or exposure. Even with racism, a lot of these societal problems, yes, there is malicious intent. And yes, there is dark forces out there. Of course. I did an episode about psychopaths and serial killers. I work with them. Of course I know. But a lot of time is just ignorance due to lack of exposure. But I really love your highlight about asking more questions because I do genuinely believe that better questions leads to better answers. Thank you for discovering more with us this week. If you enjoyed watching this video, check out the full length episode at one of the windows that pops up. And as always, see you again in next week's train of Discover More. Thank you for tuning in.